Basically. So, okay, I'm taking a walk now. Um, just to show the beauty of Haiti in the landscape. And I'm pretty much taking a risk, taking my, you know, my camera out more on my phone. Because the Haitian people are a little bit, um, look at the beauty. They're a little bit hard. When they see something that they want, they say, give me, give me, like everything is give me, give me. So they'll see my phone and they may say, give me, they will say that. I just hope they don't get too aggressive. And usually when I have money in my pocket, when I walk with pants on, because uh, sometimes I wear shorts without the pockets. But when I walk with my pants with the pockets, I make sure I take my money out and I put it in my socks because they're very aggressive and they'll put their hands in my pockets, which I hate that. But I gotta, at the same time, realize I'm not in my country and what rules that, you know, what we normally, you know, everybody has their personal space. They don't give you nothing and they figure this is their country. And I just, don't like no trouble, so I take the money out. So nothing has to be escalated. But I'm taking a risk taking my tablet. Just to show the countryside of Haiti, which is pretty much the whole country. You know, Port-au-Prince is a city. Um, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of poverty there, but there's also a lot of... Um, you find more sophisticated class of Haitians that I found. But also there's Haitians that live in the um, in the ghettos. Well, it's not even, it's worse than that. It's more like, um, it's more like, um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's worse than there's another name for it. I just can't think of the slums. Slums. Yeah, so. And this is like a, a farm country right now that I'm at. You can see the people moving their cows. And when I first came out here, I was a little afraid of getting attacked by a bull. But, um,. As I, you know, as I got used to the area, I, I can see the, you know, the animals are pretty used to the people. They're well trained, and they don't, they won't attack you. They're farm animals. See the goats, and they're, they're growing corn here. And then you see the mango trees. Mangoes. Here's a mango right here. Some more animals. Look at the mountain. From the sky, it may look like, you know, from the plane, the mountains may look, you know, it has a different color. It's like a grayish, a grayish color. And from the skies, it may appear to be brown, brownish. So, But there is grass here, there's trees, 
So we're not in, Haiti is not a desert that, you know, it may appear from the skies that Haiti's a desert and there's no trees, but it's just the, the, the way the mountains are. A couple of kids, one with no clothes on. Yeah, Haitians don't seem to have a problem walking around with no clothes on. That's one thing about their culture, especially the kids. The two more mangoes. I want to drop them. And I want to pick this up and eat it for later. Two mangoes. And look at the view from where I came from. One thing to notice is it's very quiet. It's not like Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic is the loudest city or the loudest country that I've ever been in. It's very loud. I won't say it's the loudest country. I haven't been to all countries, but it's very loud. And you see the little kids saying, my friend, my friend. That means, I translate that to me. Sucker, sucker, come here, come here. I want to get something from you. Sucker, sucker. <laughs> now he's laughing at me. Look at the mountains. And then, they call me white, white man because I have a little light. I'm what light skin complex black. So they call me white man. Look at the lady she's eating. She don't have a bra or nothing. Now the kids they talking they talking junk. They like to talk junk. It's almost like being in junior high where there's always a class clown trying to make jokes. I find that a lot of the youth they want to be like class clowns. I don't really like talking to them because I don't understand Creole. So I don't really like giving conversations when I can't understand what they're saying. But I, but I know from experience, from body language, and from expressions, they're trying to clown me. He's saying white, white, white. And he's saying shit, shit. Something about doo doo or something. Being a class clown. Then, got the people at the water. I just kind of ignored them because they were trying to clown me earlier. At the lake, they're washing clothes over there. So I think I'm going to turn around, I'm going to go back. 
He's imitating my English, how it sounds to him. The girls here, they go topless at the lakes. But they're not as promiscuous as Dominican women are, even though they may appear to be. They're more conservative. Alright, so um, I'm going to cut it off now. I think I'm going to walk back because I don't want to get too much attention. I'm getting a lot of attention now. They're calling me over. Calling me over. I don't want them to, be able to see my phone, my tablet, and be like, Give me here, I'll trade you. They like to say, give to give, give to give. Meaning, I'll trade you my sandals for your, tel your, your cell phone. What a great trade. She's calling my name. A couple of villages, villagers I know. <laughs> 